the Silly Isles Novices Chase is next. This is another grade one for the novices over the big obstacles this time. Two and a half miles at the top. Calozard and Darren Thompson. Come on. Yeah, let's try that one again. Commemoration puzzle for Stu Gray. Day to day, Martin Needham. Highwayman Leon Van Rensburg. Signpost Craig Beckwith. Mallorca David Hooley. And the wonderful for Joshua Sutherland. So, a field of seven in this grade one chase. And away they go. Short run to the first, which is a ditch, and they all successfully negotiated it without mishap. And Mallorca on the inside, just about in front from signpost, pulling for its head is day to day. Highwayman is closest to us in the blue, the black and red hoops of the wonderful Cabo Zaran right over on the far side. The one that's just a little detached at the back is Commemoration Puzzle. But Mallorca also pulling for its head as they get over the second, which they're all safely over these. Are the well, that's the, that's the quick, this is the railway fences, and that's the third one of them. And they're all safely over the railway fences, and they'll make their way towards the pond now. And a signpost has settled down into the lead, leading by four to day to day second, and then a line of four of them then. The wonderful Mallorca, Cabo, Zarad and Highwayman, and then the one that's just struggling to go the pace early on. His commemoration puzzle, that one, is out of shot, so difficult to tell just how far adrift it is as they get to the pond. And they're all safely over the pond. They'll race into the straight now, and take two fences. And the signpost is clear by three. To day to day second, and Highwayman third. Well, that one they go, also for the over it. This next fence should be a, a split fence with a ditch on one side and a plane on the other, but it isn't in this course. It's just a ditch, uh, so they'll be jumping it as they ditch for the final fence next time round. Which is technically incorrect. I think Gray didn't make the right course on SO6. Well, you're going to get, ever get round to it on SO7. And if he does, there's also another thing to be sorted out because the water jump has disappeared. As well, there should be the water jump before they take the railway fences. We've got a plane fence before the railways, which isn't quite correct. Although, to be honest, I can't quite see why they've got a water jump so far away from the stand. That was always the point of a water jump, I think, which was supposed to be a bit of a spectacle to see the horses jumping across the water. And the fact that they were less likely to fall as well. But it's a signpost in front, commemoration puzzle while I've been doing all that waffling has decided to pull up, so there must be something wrong with that one, he didn't get very far today. And we'll be back to fight another day next week. When it's signposting the loop, Highwayman second, the wonderful third, and Cabo Zarad and Day to Day, and then Mallorca after that one. People probably worrying at the moment and thinking, God, that commentator's waffling already, it's only day one, he doesn't normally start the waffle until day three. But it's signpost in the lead from Highwayman in second, the wonderful third as they get over the next a mistake there by Mallorca right down on its nose as they get over the second part of that little double and they race down towards the next which is a ditch it should be a ditch this next one is a plain fence and signpost is clearing the lead Oh, that one they go now, they'll go straight into the. Well, they've gone straight into the railways, haven't they? So, didn't even have the plane fence there, so that's what's missing then. So, I've got that bit a little bit wrong from my memory of the last time we here. In between that ditch and the railway fence, it should be the water jump. Anyway, signpost is in the lead from a Yorker in second, and then Highwayman in third, and the wonderful then day to day. And Cabo Zarad is just finding the pace a bit hot as well as they race down towards the pond then with signpost in front and Mallorca second. Then day to day and highway man and then the wonderful. But well, it's signpost in the lead. Craig Beckwith's already caused a bit of an upset in one race today. Can he do it again as they get over the pond fence? Day to day's in second. Then comes Mallorca third. Highway man is four and the wonderful is five. Cabo Zarad after that one racing down towards the second last then there. And it's signpost who's in the lead being chased by Mallorca and highway man. Then comes Cabo Zarad and the wonderful day today's beaten as they get over the second last. Day today's down at the second last. And it's signpost in the lead from Highwayman and Mallorca over the final fence they go. And it's signpost who's over it clear. 
and Signpost is two or three lengths clear, Highway Man is second, then comes Mallorca in third, and it's Signpost in front, being chased hard round by Highway Man, Highway Man's getting closer, beginning to close, and he needs to line this leader, and I think he might get it just in time, Highway Man, and Signpost, it's mighty close, and it's on the knob, that one, Highway Man was getting closer, but I think Signpost might have held on, the angle will favour Signpost, and... I think Signpost taking it. It's Craig Beckwith again, I think. A big day at Sandown for Craig Beckwith. I wonder if he does his trialling at Sandown because that's two big races today there at Sandown where he's turned over the big boys. So Signpost takes it for Craig Beckwith. Highwayman second for Leon van Rensburg. Mallorca David Hoody third. The wonderful Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And Cabo Zarad was fifth for Darren Thompson. <laughs>